sit back, relax, you're in the Cinema Lounge. Oh god, move this over. It's okay, it's all right. Yeah, I don't. Like, I used to watch like reality and like competition shows. Well, mostly cooking competition shows, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. Okay. Yeah. Like I, it sounds stupid, but like I'm more of someone who would watch like Storage Wars and Pawn Stars. <laughs> I've watched some Storage Wars. I don't. I don't really like reality TV most of the time. Like. Yeah. Like, It's stupid. It sometimes it's stupid, but it's like you only a very selective few have have like a certain charm. But don't worry, I'm not like someone I like who more too much. What? Car rescue. Ah, I used to. I stopped what watching. Rescue? Bar rescue. Bar bar rescue. Bar rescue. It's Think like this guy. He goes to bars that are failing, that are close to shutting down, and he sees what's wrong with them, and he fixes them. And like. Uh, yeah, okay. I, was, I was just gonna say that kitchen okay. nightmares, but with bars. Yeah. Is that entertaining? Uh, yeah, no, I see the value. Of that. I, I, I get what you mean. Like, I, I watched uh, kitchen. Like, I would watch kitchen nightmare, but then again, like, I actually like. Come to think of it, I do watch a lot of Gordon Ramsay. Shows. Yes, I do. I do too, as well, because I love Hell's Gordon Ramsay. Kitchen, I've been watching Hell's uh, kitchen, kitchen lately. Nightmare. I've seen like the hotel version of the show. Um, oh yeah, Hotel Hell. Yeah, Hotel Hell, and also Master Chef. Which mm -hmm. is actually very surprising, knowing his reputation. He's not the angry British uh, judge. Exactly. He's really laid back. Yeah. Oh, Funny enough, I'm actually more excited because we have... Well, I'm actually more excited uh, for the Canadian Hell's Kitchen. Okay. Do you want... Uh, Jada, do you watch uh, the Canadian Hell's Kitchen? I don't watch the American Hell's Kitchen. Oh, uh, okay. No, last... but... Uh, go on. The, the last show I saw that time Gordon Ramsay in it was, I think, his original show. Uh, oh, Hell's just, Kitchen. He's, he's kind of funny, but he's, oh, I don't know, a little one note. <laughs> but that one note is just amazing note, each time. The guy who does Bar Rescue, he's not really angry. He can get really angry. He can also be like, you know, other things. He can be upset. He can be caring. He can, you know, talk about hard things. You know, he, he, he does more stuff. Mm hmm. No, but, Mike, I need to tell you this. In Canadian's Hell's Kitchen, we actually have this one judge. I swear to God, it's this, like, little angry Asian guy, but he looks exactly like Edna Mode in The Incredibles. It's so hilarious. And, like, he's always there, like, what time of socks? Now! 
Like literally like that. I kid you not. Oh my god. I would probably say like it could even top um, the American Hell's Kitchen. Like I would even go to that extent. Oh, this season's been hell. That's for sure. I, I watch <laughs> fictional shows about fictional people that are made up. I don't know why. I kind of gave up on that for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. I've been there has been nothing lately that's been too. There are like a few shows that I was may, like I'm maybe considering watching. Like maybe that. sometime. It's maybe sometime like Gravity Falls or something. I heard that's really good. There's some good cartoons out there. But in terms yeah. of like dramas, I don't actually generally watch a lot of those. But there are select few. There's Game of Thrones. There's The Flash. Yeah. Time. I'm thinking of getting to the Good Wife. Well, actually, like I mostly would watch the ones like my parents would watch. Also, like I know some Mad Men, and I know like I pretty much know Breaking Bad. And um, uh, like, and I know a bit about Boardwalk Empire. The irony is, I haven't seen a single episode of Breaking Bad. Not even Breaking. Seriously? I a single. I know nothing about it, like at all. I'm not even sure I know what the characters' names are. I know. Really? Uh, I know There's of it, but I've never seen it. That's it. That is the yeah. extent of the knowledge. Interesting. Like, I haven't seen all the episodes, but like. Binge watch it, man. You gotta binge watch it. I'm not a binge watcher at all. Like I would watch movies, but I'm no binge watcher. Eh, it's a living. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, go go with the Flintstones excuse. I guess it's all like that. Why? 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 James couldn't be here. Yeah, he he was telling me like, hey man, I just. Couldn't. I'm busy doing stuff. I was like, okay, man, you got your life. You can do it. You. I don't know. I was actually, I was, I was actually with him not too long ago with, uh, with Morgan. We were, we were actually, um, and we were also with, uh, we were with Devin, and we were all watching Aladdin. It was oh. actually pretty fun. Yeah. Aladdin, you Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the, no, wait, Jada, did, like, did you not watch the uh, Broadway documentary before uh, the Once Upon a Time finale? On, on the channel I had, it was, like, Sports Center before Once Upon a Time. Really? I guess you didn't the stations. You, did, you didn't watch it on ABC? No, I think I watched it on, on CBS. CBS? Not CBS. Um, Once Upon a Time was, is on ABC. May, well, maybe you saw it, on, like, on CTV? <laughs> channel, and I watched it on the other channel this time. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, but you would actually, I think you would have an appreciation for that, because it's all about, like, the Disney Broadway shows. Like, they t they went into, like, Beauty and the Beast, uh, The Lion King, Mary did Poppins, the and... What? The Little Mermaid, did they go into that at all? No, not really. I don't like, they mostly They mostly went into the ones that, like, are currently on, like, the, like, Lion King, Mary Poppins, and the Newsies. I don't understand how the, the Little Mermaid had such a short run. Like, it's the Little Mermaid! And they had great added songs and great performance. It was... Poor Little Mermaid. Yeah, it's not the only one. I mean, there's also Tarzan that didn't go all the way through. Well, Tarzan wasn't very good. Little Mermaid was fantastic. A fantastic Broadway show. And you'd think Disney would be able to keep a fantastic Broadway show afloat. Yeah, like, no, but when you think about it, that is true. I mean... Oh and, oh, and they also looked at Aladdin as well. Yeah, yeah like, when you think about it, when you think about it, like, their biggest Broadway shows are from, like, animated films from the Disney Renaissance. Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, and Aladdin. Well, you they're not think... thinking of a Broadway show based on, like, Cinderella or Snow White. For one thing, those have been done before. Cinderella by Rodgers and Hammerstein. No, but I mean, based, like, based specifically on the Disney animated films. Yeah, but the Disney movie's not really that different from the original. No, but you know what I mean. Like the, yeah. those Broadway shows are based on those films. They're not based on the fairy tale. Like they went directly on it. Yeah, I'm just saying, if they were to make a, movie, a Broadway show about Cinderella, like the Cinderella Disney movie, it would not really be that different 
from the Rodgers and Hammerstein Broadway play. Yeah. Like, the biggest difference would be, like... Which came to, back to Broadway, like, last year, so... Yeah, like, the only difference would be the song. See, like, you really do have a point, but, like... Yeah, you, you know what I was actually thinking? You know what would make an amazing Broadway show? Like, I'm surprised they didn't even do. Imagine The Nightmare Before Christmas in the style of The Lion King. Well, it would look tricky. You know, I'm, I'm not sure what Tim Burton's style would look like. I thought it would look I mean, like... I don't know. Trust me, if they were able, if they're able to take the Lion King and put it on Broadway, they can take the Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, Lord knows Broadway loves its gothic stuff, like that Phantom of the Opera, Jekyll and Hyde. And then there's gonna be Hunchback coming up. There's a bunch of different Hunchback on Broadway things. Actually. No, but like literally one on Disney. I don't know about that. But no, it's gonna happen. They did do a do a, a, a show in Germany, a German Hunchback production, show, where they completely yeah, they're bringing that, that in. So they're like English buying that. Well, then yeah. that could work because that was, and they completely cut out the gargoyles. Like they forgot. Oh, they did. Yeah. No more really? Alexander Gargoyle. Well, that, I wanted that. to sing a guy like you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> no, I, I. No, I'm not. I didn't get finished. But I'm currently reading the book Punch Back and Really Not. And I have. I thought the Disney movie was was kind of dark, but I read the book and it's like it's not even close to the same. Like wow. But they, keep they, in mind, they, they, they just need five to touch back in the time. They weren't kidding. Like even Judge Claude Frollo is freaking the simplest character in the world in the Disney movie compared to his character in the book. Like, well, keep in mind. Keep in mind, we're talking about Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame. I swear that they had to change. But I'm aware that they no, have to because it's not bash people's heads in. And I'm aware that that a problem couldn't actually be hung. And, you know, I Beavis could be a dick because, you know... Because it's a family picture. <laughs> yeah. You know, they gotta replace all the violence with, And she was so la la! And she was so la la! He will discover that! He will pick the right See, you know the words to the song. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll admit, I grew up, like, my family grew up with Hunchback of Notre Dame, so I kind of have, like, this tolerance to the gargoyles. My mom never let me watch it again. She, she, she's, she's something of a fan of the book, and so mm. she hates the movie with a fiery passion, so she never let me... I watched it when I was, yeah. like, 17. But I will admit, for what they have done, like, for something, like, as it is, Disney's Hunchback, it's actually, like one hell of a movie. Really, like, when they got something right, they really got something right. It, it does have some really good moments. I'm just saying, compared to, like, or even to, like, the Australian musical that they had in France, which is excellent, by the way. Notre Dame de Paris. Yeah, oh called. my god, I know that one. Yes. It's so good. It's so good. It, it's so good. All the subtitles, it's so good. And and better than whatever they're going to bring to England. To, 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 Actually, yeah, it's... Broadway. At school, I actually had to sing uh, Le Temps des Cathédrales. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of disappoint. I guess the character of Gringor in the book that they completely cut out of the Disney movie, man, I think he's one of my favorite characters. And they completely cut, they basically just meshed him together with Lopong. You know? Yeah, I suppose. He wasn't even that big a character in the book. He's just like, he shows up as a character. But I think we can. Uh, but I think we can all agree on one thing. <laughs> At least it ain't the sequel. The sequel wasn't even based on any book. It was based on <laughs> Sequel is just way off. <laughs> oh god, like even like, it's even an insult to the movie. I can just say that when you're talking about the merits of the movie, the, the sequels don't come into play. You know? Like, I get the same thing when you're talking about, like, I think Beauty and the Beast was, was Bella Stockholm. First of all, no, she wasn't. Secondly, if you're going to argue that she was, don't bring up Bell's Enchanted Christmas. Oh, good. Because, first of all, that's not fair. Secondly, it should, nobody's going to defend that movie. 
I'm not defending that. But, 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 but Jim Curry, Jim Curry has the pipe organ. Jim Curry. You know, Tim Curry and Alan Cumming both. They're two actors that should be better than this, but they're not. You know? Mm. It's probably because, it's part of it is because they have no fucks to give, which I can sort of appreciate. Yeah. But really, it, as much as I enjoy them, they're not seals of quality. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's, they're like, you know, it's like, it's like cream, it's like pain cream. Like, like, it's gonna soothe in it a bit, but it ain't gonna make the pain go away. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know, I mean, pain cream, at least, isn't part of the problem. You know? Pain cream didn't come along with the pain automatically. It came along specifically to soothe that pain. You know? I guess. Like, like... I don't know. I'd have to think about it an album. Mm. I was gonna say Highlander three, like to cure Highlander two, but Highlander three wasn't even that good. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> you know? I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God. Oh God. I was uh, I was about to call a spoony, but no. We got Mike. <laughs> Three is one of the better Highlander films besides the original. What is that saying a lot? Like, it's like second best compared to the other. It's like the second know, second film you gotta watch after the first one. It's like saying Bambi 2 is one of the better Disney sequels. Like, okay. Is, but like, <laughs> when you compare it to junk. <laughs> It was boring, but it was I. The first yeah, it was I. I. Yeah, it was I. Right. <laughs> Saved by the bell. What just happened? That's not saved by the bell. Are you kidding? And no, no, it wasn't a reference. It was like fresh. My. <laughs> yes, I was timing you guys. Yes. Oh. So yes, uh, that was the pre-talk. That was the warm-up, which was great. Thank you for that. Thank you. Always fun to talk about Broadway yeah. and bad Highlander movies. You should ser you should seriously have seen that that special. You should. have. I was doing stuff before Once Upon a Time came on anyway. Oh, you know what it is? My, my sister was watching a really crappy TV movie called Catch a Christmas Star. Uh, Which is exactly why you should have seen the Broadway special. Hey, you're, you're cutting off what? Just, she was nobody to talk goodbye, according to my dad. Mm. Okay. Timer. Yeah. <clears throat> Starting the timer officially. We gotta have a timer this time. So, is it gonna be a shorter episode without James, or like... Ah, uh, it should be. We got six movies. I kind of yeah. hope so. I want to get up early tomorrow morning so I can get something from the store before I go to school. Yep, so... Uh. Like, cause I got the timer too, so whatever happens, happens. No, no two hour discussions. <laughs> Fuck that noise. <laughs> we won't do it. We don't have the people to. Alright. Uh, it's 9.32. <laughs> oh, okay, you're doing that. I thought you were pointing to yourself. <laughs> no, I was. It's a little halo. Okay, it's no, yeah, but it still looked like it's like. I'm here. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, I didn't know you were about to do the Halo thing. Should have done the prayer first. Jeez, the webcam. Five, four, three, two.